वेलकम बैक टू बायोलॉजी क्लास इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट द फोर चेंबर्स ऑफ द हार्ट राइट ऑरिकल लेफ्ट ऑरिकल राइट वेंट्रिकल एंड लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल एंड फोर वॉल्स प्रेजेंट इन द हार्ट व्हिच रेगुलेट द फ्लो ऑफ ब्लड इन द हार्ट दे आर ट्राइकस्पिड वॉल बाइकस्पिड वॉल पल्मोनरी वॉल एंड अयोटिक वॉल today we will study the path of blood circulation in human beings look at the diagram given the deoxygenated blood is collected from different parts of the body through two major veins called superior and inferior vena cava check number 4 in the diagram and is brought to the right auricle after the contraction of the right auricle the blood is pushed to the right ventricle number 5 here when the right ventricle contracts then the tricuspid valve v2 prevents the blood from flowing back to into right auricle from the right ventricle the blood gets pumped into the pulmonary artery number 6 which carries blood into lungs there is an exchange of gases that is of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the lungs blood gets purified and then this oxygenated blood is carried into the left auricle by the help of pulmonary veins labeled 1 when the left auricle contracts the blood enters left ventricle number 2 however when the left ventricle contracts then the bicuspid valve v1 prevents the blood from flowing back into the left auricle the left ventricle opens into largest artery called aorta number 3 which carries oxygenated blood to different parts of the body once the oxygen gets consumed by the human body the deoxygenated blood again comes back to the right auricle through superior and inferior vena cava and the process continues so children by this you must have understood that blood goes through the heart twice during each cycle means the blood passes through the human heart two times to supply once to the whole body so it is called double circulation this means that we have two loops in our body in which blood circulates in human beings the circulation cycle works in two ways pulmonary or lung circulation and systemic or body circulation pulmonary circulation in this process the right ventricle sends deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation through pulmonary artery and the left auricle receives oxygenated blood from the lungs through pulmonary vein the second is systemic or body circulation in this process the right auricle receives deoxygenated blood from the different parts of the body and the left ventricle sends oxygenated blood through aorta to different parts of the body children look at the diagram given here and to set the pace for pumping of blood there is a bundle of specialized cells in the upper part of the right atrium these cells create rhythmic impulses and set the pace for pumping of blood these cells are referred to as pacemaker cells they directly control the heart rate they make up the cardiac pacemaker or the natural pacemaker of the heart in human beings the concentration of pacemaker cells in sinoatrial sa node is the natural pacemaker The following video will help you in understanding the path of blood circulation clearly. Your heart is a pump. It's a muscular organ about the size of your fist and is located slightly left of center in your chest. Your heart is divided into the right and left side. The division protects oxygen-rich blood from mixing with oxygen-poor blood. Together your heart and blood vessels comprise your cardiovascular system which circulates blood and oxygen around your body. In fact, your heart pumps about 5 quarts of blood every minute and it beats about 100,000 times in one day. That's about 35 million times in a year. Oxygen poor blood, blue blood, returns to the heart after circulating through your body. 
The right side of the heart, composed of the right atrium and ventricle, collects and pumps the blood to the lungs through the pulmonary arteries. The lungs refresh the blood with a new supply of oxygen, making it turn red. Oxygen-rich blood, red blood, then enters the left side of the heart, composed of the left atrium and ventricle, and is pumped through the aorta to the body to supply tissues with oxygen. Four valves within your heart keep your blood moving the right way. The tricuspid, mitral, pulmonary, and aortic valves work like gates on a fence. They open only one way and only when pushed on. Each valve opens and closes once per heartbeat, or about once every second. A beating heart contracts and relaxes. Contraction is called systole, and relaxing is called diastole. During systole, your ventricles contract, forcing blood into the vessels going to your lungs and body, much like ketchup being forced out of a squeeze bottle. The right ventricle contracts a little bit before the left ventricle does. Your ventricles then relax during diastole and are filled with blood coming from the upper chambers, the left and right atria. Then the cycle starts over again. Your heart is nourished by blood too. Blood vessels called coronary arteries extend over the surface of your heart and branch into smaller capillaries. Here you can see just the network of blood vessels that feed your heart with oxygen-rich blood. Your heart also has electrical wiring, which keeps it beating. Electrical impulses begin high in the right atrium and travel through specialized pathways to the ventricles, delivering the signal to pump. The conduction system keeps your heart beating in a coordinated and normal rhythm, which in turn keeps blood circulating. The continuous exchange of oxygen-rich blood with oxygen-poor blood is what keeps you alive. In today's class, we discuss the path of blood circulation in human beings. Thank you and take care of yourself.